is now boosting on the platform. Hello, everyone. My name is Cool Cole. Your name is Cole. Cool. And this is another clickbaity cash in. I mean, Rocket League countdown video. I always get those mixed up. How weird. This time, we're looking at Rocket League's five coolest Easter eggs, and things are gonna get intense. By the way, many of these were discovered by rocket-league.com, the guys behind the Rocket League Cinema YouTube channel. Go check them out, and try not to melt into your chair the moment you hear Chewy Ty's mesmerizing tones. Anyway, enough about them. Let's get on with the video. Number five involves a name that's been on everyone's lips since Rocket League's release. Carl Ched. In case you're one of the cave dwellers who aren't sure who that is, Cheddars, as his good friends call him, is the assistant QA manager at Psyonix. Even more impressively, his Twitter avatar is the face on the goddamn Zippy's tail lights. By the way, there's totally a face on the Zippy's tail lights. See? Carl Ched, I do not know why your face is on the Zippy's tail lights, and to be honest, I don't care. You have my respect. Interestingly, there are other examples of Psyonix sneaking their likeness into the game. No, the Scarab isn't modelled on Psyonix Art's left patella, as cool as that would definitely be. But, Beckwith Park is named after these guys, Adam and Ben Beckwith, aka the Beckwith Bros. DFH Stadium, meanwhile, is named after Psyonix's head honcho himself, Dave Hagewood. What the F in DFH stands for is genuinely up for debate. I like to think it's Finnegan, because Finnegan is a funny name. Number four, well, <laughs> I mean, number four speaks for itself. At the risk of insulting my audience's intelligence, here's a recap of what we all just so clearly heard. Urban Central's super muffled announcements are actually saying stuff, and the stuff they say adds more depth to the lore of the game. A Reddit user named XEvanRocks hacked the, the game, game and discovered some raw audio files hidden deep therein. What he'd found was the unmufflified Tannoy audio and a treasure trove of easter eggy goodness. He's transcribed loads of these in the link in the description, but here's our favourite. is now arriving at platform 8. Now, we know that Urban's train is called the Psyonix Express, which is adorable. All aboard! Number 3 is about as self-explanatory as the following in-joke. Microphone. So gather round, friends, and let me tell you a story. Story time with Cole. Story time, story time, story time, story time, story time, story time Dave likes deep conversations and long walks on the beach, but he hates bread, and I mean the guy really hates bread, like it's a thing, he absolutely loathes it. So Davo jokingly promised in a pre-release Rocket League Twitch stream he'd eat a bunch of the stuff if the game hit 10,000 concurrent players at any point in the first week of its release. Knowing Psyonix were on the crust of something special and would definitely reach this target, a guy named IJ posted a screenshot of this wager to our forums. We hit 183,000. That's a lot of juicy concurrence. Psyonix David made his bread, and now he had to lie on it. After some polite pestering, Psyonix ensured their Presidente stuck to his convictions. Psyonix had finally stopped playing their carbs close to their chests. Which brings us back to the present. Because as well as the unsubtly named Dave's Bread Antenna, a memento to this starch-based moment exists aboard the locomotive train topper. And the loaf of Dave's Bread it will dutifully carry as its cargo forevermore. Number two has all the ingredients of the perfect video game easter egg. Ambiguity, obscurity, and a blowfish. Long-term fans will know that before Rocket League, before even Battle Cars, came Crash Course, a car combat game which laid the foundations for SAR PBC. The game never saw the light of day, but we can see it in action now. Check the description for the full video. 
Crash Course's mascot was this little adorable blowfish, who could apparently be flung out of a giant cannon and hilariously cause whichever car he hit to balloon to a ridiculous size. I mean, he'd presumably splatter to death upon impact, but that's not the point. In a victory for animal rights activists everywhere, Crash Course eventually morphed into battle cars, but the blowfish mascot would live on. In Rocket League, Old Blowy makes an appearance in the most unlikely of places. He is the royalty at the centre of the money boost trail. And I mean, it might look silly, but Blowfish currency is probably worth more than pound sterling right now, so show it some respect, yeah? Supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars is well known for being the game with objectively the coolest XMB music of all time. Feast your ears on this. Such glorious nostalgia. And much like Crash Course's Blowfish, the SAR PBC theme song hasn't been left behind. Firstly, the Accelerator music boost carries its beautiful tune. Sometimes, I just like to equip it, enter a ranked doubles match, hold circle, close my eyes, and relax. Which is cool, but it's not exactly easter eggy. This, however, is. Enter the Konami code at the main menu to see this masterpiece for yourself. Check the description for instructions on how to do this below. And there we have it. A complete list of all the cool stuff Psyonics have hidden amongst their game's meticulously shiny user interface. At least all the stuff we've found so far. You can use this video to create the ultimate easter egg mobile. Equip Carl Ched Zippy and whack on a locomotive bread carrying topper. With Dave's bread antennae and the SAR PBC theme music boost, you'll be ultra meta at every turn. Then drive off into the sunset, safe in the knowledge you're helping preserve the memory of the long, complicated path Psyonics travelled before finally striking gold with Rocket League. Team Rocket, out.